Hello friends, hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Um, okay, so let's continue on the Jesus Storybook Bible. Um, I really want to um, finish this uh, in the next couple of weeks. I don't know how many more stories we have, but um, going through this Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones has been, no, Sally Lloyd-Jones has been amazing. Um, again, just going back to these stories uh, that remind us uh, that Jesus is our hero, that he has been foretold and prophesied about from the beginning of time in the Old Testament. Um, and we started the New Testament a few, uh, maybe like a week or so ago, maybe a little more. But as soon as I am done with this one, um, we are half past halfway done in this book. Um, I want to start uh, this guy over here that we are going through with uh, our worship team at our church. And it's called The Gospel-Centered Life. Uh, and this has been amazing um, for, for me spiritually. Uh, I feel like I've, well, no, I don't feel like I've been in the faith for years. And um, even just going understanding what the gospel is and why we need the gospel every single day, I think has been a challenge for me. Like, okay, I need the gospel every day. Okay, remind myself of the gospel. But this goes into detail as to why and how the gospel should really saturate our everyday life and how um, we can apply it. it. Gives us examples, real examples. Anyways, it's been a blessing. So I want to do this book right after we're done with this one. So if you wanted to uh, start this book with me, uh, I'm giving you a chance now to grab it if you want to join, or you could just listen here uh, whenever I start going through it. Um, but it's really, it's not that even that big. Look how, look how small it is. Okay. Uh, and the chapters are short. They're sweet. They're powerful. They are packed with stuff for you to think about and meditate uh, on and chew on for like the whole day, like a whole week. So this has been a blessing. So right after we're done with this guy, we're going to hop into this one. Um, I'll see if I can put a link below to where you guys can purchase it if you're interested, okay? So for today's story, um, last time we did how to pray, I believe, yeah, how to pray. Um, and we did uh, the Lord's Prayer, kind of paraphrased, um, and it was it was great. My kids read it after I was done because they weren't here when I filmed it, and they were like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. I feel like I understand the Lord's Prayer a little more. I was like, awesome. Okay, so the title of this one is called The Singer, and it is the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew 6, uh, 9, and Luke 12, okay? So let's get to it. It says, wherever Jesus went, lots of people went too. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, all kinds of people came to see Jesus. Sick people, well people, happy people, sad people, and worried people, lots of them. Worrying about lots of things. I love how she says sick people, right? But also happy people um, or maybe people who think that they're happy and they don't have any issues. But when they come to Jesus, they understand um, that they really do, uh, how sinful they are. So I love how she said that he welcomed so many people in different walks of life, okay? What if we don't have enough food or clothes or suppose we run out of money? What if there isn't enough and everything goes wrong? And we won't be all right. What then? Okay, so uh, Jesus is talking about how these people are worrying. It doesn't matter if you are happy, if you're sad, no matter if you're whatever circumstance, we all worry. Okay, um, and it's not true because we're all worrying right now. What's going on, you know? Um, so when Jesus saw all the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus set, that, set them all down. And talk to them which is what you know even just sermons are supposed to be I think um, the people sat quietly on the grassy mountainside and listened from where they sat they could see the blue lake glittering below them and little fishing boats coming in from a night's catch the spring air was fresh and clear so this is Jesus talking to all the people in the different walks of life happy people sad people over here listening to him See those birds over there, Jesus said. Everyone looked. Little sparrows were packing or pecking at seeds along the stony path. Where do they get their food? Perhaps they have pantries all stocked up. Cabinets full of food, right? Like Jesus being sarcastic, like, yes, they store up all these foods in their cabinets. Everyone laughed. Who's ever seen a bird with a bag of groceries? No, Jesus said, they don't need to worry about that because God knows what they need and he feeds them they have <laughs> I love how she has 
bird tier with like a grocery cart <laughs> packed with food, <laughs> processed food. Oh my goodness. And all the people on the bottom. So again, they don't do that. Birds don't do that, right? They don't worry about tomorrow. They just um, honestly rely on God. God is the one who provides their, um, their, their food. And what about those wildflowers? Everyone looked. All around them, flowers were growing. Anamanis, is that how you pronounce it? Daisies, pure white lilies. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? Or do they go to work every day so they can buy them? Do they have clothes, closets full of clothes? Everyone laughed again. Who's ever seen a flower put on a dress? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them in royal robes of splendor. Not even a king is that well dressed. So she's, she has flowers here with clothes. <laughs> They had never met a king, but as they gazed out over the lake, glittering and sparkling below them, the hillsides dressed in reds, purples, and golds, they felt a great burden lift from their heart. They could not imagine anything more beautiful. Little flock, Jesus said, you are more important than birds, more important than flowers, than birds and the flowers don't sit, sorry, the birds and the flowers don't sit and worry about, about things. And God doesn't want his children to worry either. God loves to look after the birds and the flowers, and he loves to look after you. Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over, um, oh, sorry, watch over the world he had made, everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, and everything. And most of all, his children, his children, all right? You want God to take care of you, to love you, to provide for you, to give himself to you, you have to be his child and not everybody is a, ch a child of God, okay? Even um, it, being a child of God means that are specifically for those who have his spirit, all right, who, um, who follow Jesus. Um, even though people had forgotten, the birds and the flowers hadn't forgotten. They still knew their song. It was the song uh, all of, sorry, it was the song all of God's creation had sung to him from the very beginning. It was the song people's hearts were made to sing. God made us. He loves us. He's very pleased with us. It was why Jesus had to come into the world to sing, uh, to sing them that wonderful song, to sing in that only with his voice, but with his whole life. So that, so that God's children could remember it and enjoy it and sing it too. That's why Jesus came, um, to show us God's love incarnate, to show us God's love physically, um, to show us love, love God's love in action, that he loves us so much that he paid the price for our sins, okay? And that is it for today's story, guys. Let me show you the picture here. The birds, the flowers, and Jesus. I feel like Jesus a lot of times talks to us like children because I feel like we obviously we act like children, but just rem remembering or reminding us of those basic truths like, you know, um, birds, right? They don't store flowers. They don't clothe themselves. God does that. You don't see them worrying. So that should be our attitude in life in this time that we're going through. Worry about that. Well, not worry, but know that God will provide what we need for today. Um, and tomorrow will pass. Don't worry about tomorrow, but know that he'll provide what we need, um, specifically himself. He has already given us himself, which is enough. In reality, we don't need anything else but him. So, um, so yeah, guys, so that was the story. Um, and like I said, we are, uh, halfway, well, more than halfway done with the book. And then Lord willing, uh, we'll be starting this guy over here. Okay. All right, guys, I love you all. I would love to know how these stories have impacted you guys. They're very simple, obviously. Uh, this is a children's book, a children's Bible. Um, I just love the simplicity in it and the truth, the depth that um, are in these stories that I feel like I can see clearer now in the way that it's explained to a child. Um, so it's been a blessing to me and I would love to hear from your end how you guys have been blessed by this. Um, and if you haven't been following me uh, along, if you go to my, here on YouTube, if you go to my playlist, I have a whole playlist uh, with all of these starting from the beginning if you wanted to check those out. So, okay. All right, guys, have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video, Lord willing. Bye.
Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you guys take the time to watch his videos. I really appreciate it, so thank you, thank you very much. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They are not long at all, I promise. So number one, I accept prayer requests. Um, me and my family have a list that we pray for every single day. So if you want us to add you and your prayer requests to our list, just go ahead and message me. Either leave a comment below or contact me through any of the social uh, media platforms that I have and we will go ahead and add you to our prayer list. Number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I post a lot more content there than I do here, obviously, on YouTube. I post pictures of my kids, recipes, and such. So if you are on there, go ahead and follow me. And number three, if you are not already part of this family, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You can hit the subscription button below and the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. We have so much fun here in this channel. I share with you guys recipes, I do Bible studies, I do makeup reviews, I do vlogs, I do videos with my kids. So if you wanna go ahead and join our family, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, that's about it. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.